I'm loving this. Are you? Yes. I didn't know you could cook without power. Baby, I got the power. It's the juice I need. <laughs> How about some juice of the grape? No, I never touch the stuff when I'm cooking. Oh. A purist? Well, where did you learn how to do this? Well, actually, I had a romantic fever when I was a kid, so I used to watch all those cooking shows with... Chut it, chow! <laughs> and the galloping gourmet. So I kind of stuck with me, and I, and I have a knack for things in the kitchen. Rheumatic fever? Yep. It must have been kind of tough. Well, I survived. What about you? What was it like growing up in all this pomp and circumstance? I survived. Oh, really? What was it like? Really? Really? You talked to me about how it was difficult for you to live down your sister's death. <sighs> well, it was difficult for me to live up to my sister's life. You see, Eden cast this enormous shadow. So that's the way it was for you, huh? Living underneath her shadow. Mm -hmm. For a really long time. I was kind of happy to be there, too. I saw Eden as this golden girl who led this golden life, so I thought if I just sat there, maybe some of the glitter would hit me on the way down. <laughs> so you want to be just like her, huh? No. No. It was um, different than that, really. I wanted to be her. I thought that Eden um, lived a life that was kind of like the magical mystery tour, I guess. And if I could just possess her secret, then my life would be perfect, too. So how long did that phase last? What time is it? Kidding. Maybe I'm half kidding. McCabe, you know, I think maybe I've learned something in my life. I'd like to think that I've matured a little bit. It's just dawning on me that, that as, I, uh, as, I, as I hoped to be like Eden, I thought maybe it would validate my, ex my existence. And I guess that's why I uh, wanted to drive the same cars as Eden and wear the same clothes and read the same books. I love the same loves. Did it go that far? I don't know. Maybe. Well, if I thought for one minute that you meant that, um... <clears throat> so I gotta call from a friend of mine at Interpol today. This hasn't exactly been burning a hole in my pocket. But here you go. I was going to answer the phone. If I call this number. I'm sure you'll know the name as well as your own. Cruz? Hey, there's the phone. Why don't you go ahead and make your call? 